Today on Straight Talk Africa, a conversation with Dr. Hage Gaingo, the President of the Republic of Namibia. We'll talk about his vision for the people of Namibia, the region, and the African continent. That's coming up next right here on Straight Talk Africa. Hello, welcome to Straight Talk Africa, live from the Voice of America studios here in Washington. It's Wednesday, September 14th. I am Shaka Sali. Well, hello to you, Shaka, and hello to all our viewers and listeners on the continent and elsewhere. I'm Mariama Diallo, your social media reporter. Today, it's a conversation on a range of issues with the Namibian head of state. And we are looking forward to an exciting hour and hoping that everyone in Namibia and elsewhere will join this conversation. Coming up later in our STA inbox, we'll share your thoughts through your emails, tweets, and Facebook comments. That's ahead on Straight Talk Africa. Hope you'll stay with us. Hage Gainigob is Namibia's third president. He has a mandate to consolidate recent democratic gains and good governance in Namibia, the region, my colleague, Paul Sisko, has more on this story. Namibia, in southern Africa, is bordered on the west by the Atlantic Ocean. It shares land borders with Angola, Botswana, and South Africa. The nation has about 2.2 million people, and it is one of the few African nations with a stable, multi-party parliamentary democracy. Haga Gengab is the country's third president. In office since March 31, 2015, he succeeded President Hifi Kipunya Pohamba, who stepped down at the end of his constitutionally mandated second term. Then Prime Minister Gengab, who was also vice president of the ruling Southwest Africa People's Organization, took his place as the party's presidential candidate. President Gengab was elected by an overwhelming majority in November 2014. He did his undergraduate and graduate studies in the United States before serving Namibia in the United Nations from 1972 to 1975. He was then appointed director of the United Nations Institute for Namibia, and he's also played an important role in crafting the country's constitution. After decades of violent struggles and colonial rule by Germany and South Africa, South Africa's apartheid flag was lowered at Namibia's independence celebrations on March 21, 1990. Sam Nyoma, the nation's liberation hero, became Namibia's first president. He served three terms, then passed the ruling Southwest Africa People's Party leadership to Pahamba, who won the 2004 presidential election in a landslide and served two terms. Pohamba is one of four recipients of the $5 million Mo Ibrahim Prize for Good Governance. Launched in 2006, the annual prize goes to a democratically elected leader that serves only his or her constitutionally mandated limit while displaying exceptional leadership. Nelson Mandela and Desmond Tutu were awarded special honorary awards. The first winner in 2007 was Joaquin Chishanu from Mozambique. In 2008, Botswana's former president, Festus Moai, was also honored. Three years later, in 2011, it was Pedro Pires of Cape Verde that was recognized. And lastly... The prize committee has decided to award the 2014 Ibrahim Prize of, for Achievement in African Leadership to President Pohampa of Namibia. The African Union now wants Namibia's President Gengab to help with mediating the ongoing political crisis in Gabon. Jinping, Gabon's opposition leader, has petitioned the nation's constitutional court to recount last month's presidential election results, which officially declared President Ali Bongo the winner, touching off sporadic violence in the streets. President Hage Gengab is set to address the 71st session of the United Nations General Assembly in New York. Paul Sisko, VOA News, Washington.